Damn. Hey everyone, Dingsy here, and you're watching Avebat TV with some gameplay footage of Saint Kutar. Unity game came out today on Steam the 28th of October. Psychological horror detective game set in a cursed valley in the rural Croatia. Mm, yeah. So far so good. Classic horror mode, what the hell is that? I don't know about that. There's how to play? Point and click, I think. Controls. Oh my god, we can't rebind. Oh, the middle mouse is inventory. Oh, the right click is... Okay, got it, got it. Got it! Let's go game. Scare me. Well, try not Father, to. Father, please don't leave. It's dark. The witch could be hiding in here. Oh, I'm here. Don't do this. I'm sorry if I have sinned. I didn't mean to. Please. That was definitely a girl's voice. I don't know about you. Move the cursor with the mouse. Left click stick. Oh, left control stick. I don't see anything, game. Mother has dozens of the same in her room. Each has an engraving with a big scary eye inside a triangle. Mm-hmm. The all-seeing eye. My old nightstand. Mother said they threw it away. Oh, yeah? There's a matchbox inside the drawer. I'll take it. I can now try to light up the room. Light up the room. Where are you? Who? Mother, I'm in the basement. For God's sake, don't get seen in that place. Get out immediately. Let me light up the place. Oh, I'm good. Joseph? Oh my god. I should lock you all downstairs. You all need to learn. Where is she? Where is our daughter? <laughs> Who was that? Mother, help me! On the staircase? Is there a gamma anywhere? Oh, thank you. What's the staircase? Run. You silly, what are you doing? It's me. Who? I see somebody lurking there. Oh my god. I I'm sorry. I, I thought you were that witch. I am. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? Witches don't exist. And it's just the two of us here. Who the hell is that? Victoria. Why are you here? I heard father talking to himself before going to get you in your room. <laughs> so I ran here and hid. Smart move. But why? You know he's going to be very angry at you once he finds out. Because I've promised I wouldn't let you be alone in the dark again. And when I promise something... 
You never break a promise. I know. I'm glad you were here. I feel the both characters are voiced by the same person. I can't forget our aunt's white face. Me neither. She looks so different. Her head was so bloated and pallid. And her eyes and hair. So dark. Well, a corpse? What do you want? The curse did that to her. Yeah, sure. Don't be ridiculous. She's at peace now. That's all that matters. I hope she is. Well, there's nothing I could do here but talk You're this. wrong. Father would never lie to us. About what now? About the witch that cursed our bloodline. Oh, come on. He's just trying to scare us with stories so we don't do anything wrong. And today you did wrong. So he punished you by locking you down here in the dark. What did I do? I, I still don't understand. I misclicked my bad. You talked to that tall boy. Don't you remember? We are not allowed to talk to other people anymore. They are evil. Oh my god. I thought that meant we must avoid adults. How am I supposed to make friends then? Mother said we have each other and God. She's <laughs> right. I don't think we need anyone else. Oh Aunt shit. Was once such a beautiful woman, full of life, a perfect creation of God. But her fate was nothing more than a Sunday morning rite. And the witch's curse just a fairy tale story. Evil is everywhere, my dear children. It is hiding in the shadows of this world. It takes form of animals, and it possesses people. Oh, God. Father, please forgive. Silence. Look up to your sister. Unlike you, she values God and this family. He's right here. It's my fault he went to talk to that boy. I ignored him because I was looking into the coffin, and I lost sense of time. Ah, I beg you, oh my don't God. hurt him anymore. You must learn to be alone with God. Spunk. You must learn. Oh. You all must learn what true faith is. Wow. How oh, don't you become a serial killer ah! after that, man? Oh, it was just a dream. Uh, oh, uh, it was just a dream. I often think about that peculiar day, but I've never relived it so vividly in my dreams. Why now? <laughs> Why in this place? I. Because you're back home. I need my glasses. I can't even think without them. Get them, bruh. They in the Bible? Rosary. Whoa. Passport? Where are we going? Where are we going with this? Okay, I don't see anything. Where are my glasses? Ah, here they are. Fallen to the floor, but still intact. How did you know? Oh, Thinking of the God. dream I had, I don't remember going to sleep at all. We came in, and then... We came in, Victoria and Nikolai went upstairs to prepare for the castle, and then... Nothing. I must have fainted. I have to talk to Victoria at once. Who? What the hell's that? This woman eerily reminds me of Victoria in her younger days. Must be. I checked it last night. It's useless. There's not enough oil inside. I like this. Is this meant to represent a basin? Like at the entrance of a church? This is blasphemy. That's not holy water for sure. It has a weird smell. Looks <laughs> disgusting. I'm staying away from it. Very nice. How do we go back though? Right click? Oh. My bad. Those tall dark trees strike me with dread. Even in daylight. It seems like I'm not the only one to have that feeling. The path ends abruptly right at the entrance of the forest. A cold.
cold black fireplace that hasn't been used in ages. The same feeling I'm getting from the rest of the house. Oh, come on. Cheer up, bruh. Why are you staying like... Like this? Straighten up. No slouching on the... The door? Where are we going? What? Talk to Victoria. Who? Oh my god, the whole thing is... With faces? I'll sneak away. You know what? I reconsidered. What were they doing up there? That's a double bet. Oh, we had a machine like that. Very nice. My grandma still has one. Very cool. Still working after, I don't know, 50 years. Okay, going up. And this looks like our carpet. Oh my god. What's in the bowl? That's a night bowl? Because there is no toilet upstairs? Oh yeah. A oh, that was... bowl made out of clay. Filled with what seems to be some type of oil. Oil? Without being closed like that? Just pick it up. A giant... Fine, the double bed. Look, somebody's been making kids in a it. A yellow blanket, wrinkled only on one side of the bed. Got it. What's in the wardrobe? Snipper, snoop around. Snoop. All I see here is a lonely coat rack. If we I'll don't find it. a civilized way to get out of here soon, this rack could come in handy to do it by force. Oh, that rack, I see. It's a giant tree with dozens of corpses hanging from its branches and skulls that feed its roots. Wow. Perfect way to fall asleep. <laughs> oh my god. Looking at it makes me uneasy. Like, he's totally ignoring us, guys. Codex Niva, Heart of Pagubice, and Dino Tominich. I've never heard of these works. Me neither, bro. Me neither. Maybe Nikolai has. Nikolai? Yes, Benedict. Where's Victoria? I don't know. Oh, yeah? That's a strange painting. It is. Take a better look at it and tell me what you see. Why? Please, do as I say. I'll get to the point. No. Oh my god. Mean eyes at the edge of a wicked soul. A snake-like mouth implies a man who cannot be trusted, at the very least. That is not a mere shadow. It's a symbol of darkness, of evilness devouring this lost man. That's all I see. Do you have the slightest idea why Victoria rented this dreary house? I don't even know how she found it. Looks like the owner is some kind of artist. Or is at least convinced to be. <laughs> Very morbid taste. Strange figures. I agree. I've never seen so many masks in my life. Especially not placed on walls. I've taken a closer look at the painting. You don't recognize this man? I've never seen him before. And it's your father. Nothing happened to you by looking at him. Why would anything happen to me? Last night, after your sister and I came upstairs, she was getting ready for the castle, and I was standing right here, and... I wonder, yesterday when we boarded the train, was anyone else in our cabin? What? You haven't answered. Why would anything happen to me? What's wrong with this painting? I don't know yet. Please, just follow me as I go over yesterday's events. I'll get oh, to the Oh, dude, point. you're so annoying. Just the three of us. But once the train left Budapest, wasn't there a man who came in? By placing the sign, Do Not Disturb, on our doorknob, I made sure this wouldn't happen. The only time that door opened was when the conductor peered in to tell us we have arrived at our destination. And when we left the train station, no one was following us? Didn't Victoria notice him? Notice What's going him? on? 
Your dear wife was over the moon to have finally arrived at Sveti Kotar. She couldn't stop talking about the place, but said nothing about anyone following us. Right. And on our way to the house, we stopped at the square. There was a strange ritual taking place, with a gigantic effigy. What was it like? What? Sveti Kotar? And what about the mass of hooded people that gathered there? It was a dreadful <laughs> scene. I remember the goosebumps when hearing the crowd pray as one voice, though. Let me tell you what happened after that. Once we entered the house, what do you what think we did? Wife do? I said it before. We went upstairs to prepare for the castle exhibition, leaving me to wander alone downstairs in complete darkness. You found nothing odd about the house being empty? and unlocked i did but victoria said it's nothing to worry about so i just followed her we found the path which led us to this house what happened when victoria knocked well we realized the door was actually ajar and the owner wasn't here just silence dead awful silence oh i'm getting uh, uneasy getting already we never went to the castle you don't remember the last thing I remember is searching for a light, and then nothing. What do you mean? I mean, everything after was only a dream, but I don't even remember going to sleep. Victoria dragged me into this town to make me attend that piddling exhibition in the castle. We never went there, did we? Which means I left the monastery only to spend a horrible night in this house. We both fell into an inexplicable void. <sighs> Something is terribly wrong here. Oh yeah, and guess who's missing? Tell me what happened last night. What's wrong with this painting? And where's Victoria? I'm afraid I don't have the answers. What happened is that while I was waiting for her to get ready, my attention was drawn by this painting. Next moment, I was seeing myself relive yesterday's events. With one difference. The man in the painting was there the whole time oh shit the whole time he was in our cabin and he was that gigantic effigy the inhabitants set on fire shortly afterwards he emerged from the crowd in human form again unchanged and then led us towards the house once we got here he jumped on my back and asked me to carry him upstairs i was happy I felt like a father carrying oh, I his felt own about child. stories like this. Carrying this being on your back must have some weird symbolic meaning. He was riding your back so tightly that I could feel his long and sharp fingernails penetrate my throat. After we finally got upstairs, I was so upset and in pain that I had to throw him off. I quickly turned around to reprimand him and instead saw a human-sized crow with no eyes and a blood-stained beak it croaked at me and then soared inside the painting i wanted to run off but couldn't i was in shock too terrified Damn, that bro. was the moment i woke on the bed fully dressed and disoriented victoria wasn't here oh my goodness why did you ask me all those strange questions about yesterday I had to separate the dream from the real, as the dream was startlingly real. Startlingly real, just like my own dream. We should leave this accursed house at once. I agree. After I woke, I noticed Victoria didn't even sleep on this bed. So I went downstairs to check if she was there, perhaps. I found only you, still asleep on the couch, and the door locked. That's when I started to think. Oh, that's a bad idea, bro. Leave thinking to me. We have to force our way out of here because we don't have the key. We are guests in this house. And needless to say, men of God. We must leave without doing any damage. I've already searched this floor for a key and tried to open the balcony door. But it's locked or stuck in some way. What about the windows? Strangely enough, or maybe for a good reason, they are made in a way that prevents them from being opened. Stay here and give it a second look. 
Whatever you can find that could help us. I'm going downstairs to check. Force should be our last resort to leave. Or maybe we get lucky and Victoria comes back in the meantime. Let's hurry up then. We are men of God. We went the monastery. What happened, bro? Just don't look at the man in the painting again. We don't want to risk anything. Okay, so we turn it around. The first thing. I can look at it again. It's written in an ancient alphabet, which I don't understand. Could this but be the name of the man on the painting? No, bro. It's the man of the altar. Oh, I see. I can switch. Nice. This game is great. And very creepy. I like it. And no autosave? Nice. Oh, there is a, no, there is an auto save. Oh my god! Nice, nice, nice. Oh man, very nice. I'm Ding and you watched Ave but TV with some gameplay footage of Saint Kotar. What they call it, Sveti Kotar? Yeah. Anyway, rate the video, follow the channel, and I'll see you next game. Thanks for watching.